Um, good, good morning. Uh, you join us at Shepparton today for the um, recording of the the new duet for Robbie Williams, Robbie Williams and the lovely, delectable Kylie Minogue. End of the film. What kind of photographer are you? <laughs> but yeah, me and Kylie shooting the video for kids. Kylie's on the back of me, mate. This is the making of the making of. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a really, really fun day. Let's start now. Stand by for take. I've worked with Rob a couple of times before. Hello, I'm self mutilate. Would you like a cup of coffee? And uh, when it came to doing the kids' video, he asked me to come up with an idea for it. The first reference that came to mind was that absolutely timeless scene from Greece with John Travolta and Olivia and John. Thank God I'm working with a professional. And then went into sort of 1940s, 1950s musicals where you have the classic Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers, Gene Kelly, uh, Sid Charisse type dance sequences. I thought it was very logical to combine the two. She knows me name. All the sets for the video uh, took just over a week to build. Eighty-six to move. Okay, that's great, boss. Robbie, Kyle, you ready? Use pole dancers on Let Me Entertain You. I thought, well, let's take this a stage further. Why don't we do a synchronized pole dancing routine? And because uh, that's something that's never been done before. I was very fortunate to work with a great choreographer called Luca Tomasini, who brought to the equation uh, a group of Italian girls that he's used with Kylie before. They started the routine, I think almost uh, the day before the shoot, and had it extremely tight within a matter of hours. Mm. It's kind of incriminating having you guys around. With the styling and costume, it was very much replicating that glamour aspect of Las Vegas, but bringing it up to very much present date. These are the uh, our pole dancers. They're all going to have waist length hair and fling it all round, round the pole. The best quality hair. Lovely. Nice beard, lovely. Here we go, gang. Hold nothing back. Some hip hop guys flown in from all over the world. We had one guy from Russia, another guy from America, uh, one of the hip hop champions from the UK. <laughs> one of Rob's unique talents is on set that if you give him a toy to play with, he'll come up with something totally new and unexpected. We played with the Travelator for days, trying to work out what we'd do as a routine. And it was proving quite difficult. And of course, Rob gets on it, and in the first take, he's away and he's mastered it. The work I do is remarkable. I'll make you really famous. Kylie's on a small platform just behind him, which brings them up face to face with each other. And he uses the travelator to maneuver himself around Kylie. It gave us a great opportunity for Rob to play and um, for sort of Kylie to lead him on.
And uh, here we've got the early beginnings of a Busby Berkeley overhead set. What we'll have is a podium in the middle with lights around it and uh, put the dancers all the way to the outside and then in post-production we'll build it up to be an immense kaleidoscope of dancers and bodies and figures and feathers with Robin Kiley at the centre of it. And this is the beginnings of um, a tunnel made out of mirrors, which, have, which will have light bulbs in all of these holes here. And uh, hopefully we'll get the effect of the light bulbs reflecting off into infinity. <laughs> The 360 degree camera rig is very, very difficult for an artist to perform with because on screen it creates an effect that's very much like being on a roller coaster that's very dizzying. They both managed to pull off an excellent performance in there. After shooting the tunnel, we went on to film the staircase. And there's a very, very complicated crane move that is much more complex than it looks. And synchronizing the performance of Robin Kiley, the dancers, the lights coming on, and the crane move was quite a feat. What we wanted to do is to have some culmination of the video that had never been done before in a duet. And always in male-female duets, they're coming closer and closer together and you want something to happen. And so we thought, well, how could we best do this? And, um, well, it had to be a jacuzzi and we had to have the shot through the legs and the gown dropping. And uh, I think we've created something quite unique because you never get a final scene like that with two artists of this kind of stature and it was a lot of fun to shoot.